St. Louis County Police Chief Mary Barton could face a no-confidence vote tonight by the county council. The Power of Two's Chris Renier is live in Clayton this morning with why the chief is coming under fire. Good morning, Chris. John and Marjorie, good morning to both of you. A lot of this appears to be focused on racial issues. Our post-dispatch partners are reporting details on this story. The county police headquarters is right behind us here in Clayton. This no-confidence resolution is on the agenda for tonight's county council meeting. Mary Barton was appointed the first ever female police chief of the St. Louis County Police Department nearly a year ago. She has faced controversy, but is defending herself this morning. County Council member Rita Hurd Days is pushing the no confidence resolution. Days is also the county council chair. The move comes after multiple controversies involving race have developed during Barton's short tenure. Days telling the post that the council is not pleased with the department's direction at this time. Day says a copy of the resolution is not yet available, but it will cover areas including discriminatory behavior in the department, retaliation against officers who raise concerns, and a lack of accountability by the Board of Police Commissioners to hold Chief Barton accountable. In a statement to the Post, Chief Barton says personnel changes are not made in retaliation. Placing our staff in roles where they utilize their skills and contribute to the success of our community and department is a strategic plan and does not always result in making everyone happy. The statement going on to read, most chiefs of police do not win popularity contests. For almost a year, some people have refused to accept the fact that I was appointed as the chief of police. The Post reports that this resolution would largely be symbolic because decisions to hire and fire the police chief fall under the Board of Police Commissioners and not the St. Louis County Council. We understand the resolution would also be non-binding. It does take four votes to pass. For now, live in Clayton, I'm Chris Renier.